We are back in another city for another vlog and another road trip. What's up everybody? My name is Aiden McIntyre. I'm a baseball player with the Oakland Athletics Organization and this is my channel. So this is the start of the week. I'm gonna try to make this a week long vlog, uh, collect a bunch of different stuff from the hotel, the field, uh, games, what we eat for breakfast, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys are subscribed. If you aren't, you should probably do that. I appreciate everybody for watching and helping grow the page. Um, I'm excited for this vlog. I think it's gonna be done. All right, so this is pretty much the daily routine. Uh, wake up between usually nine and 10. Uh, usually going to bed at like midnight to one, depending on what time the game ends. Uh, so wake up, usually go get some coffee, get some breakfast, usually around like noon or one-ish. So it's pretty late uh, breakfast, but I like to fast in the mornings, have some coffee, uh, get some work done get some food and then usually there's a few hours before we head over to the field um, usually get over to the field between three and four something like that so uh, usually we take a bus if the field's kind of far away since the field is so close to the hotel we got birds limes and uh, vios scooters so a lot of scooters um, a lot of scooter trips as always start the mornings with a little coffee a little venti water keep it real simple all right, so it's been a while since the last vlog, so I'm excited to get another one going. Season is going well. We are more than halfway through uh, the 2021 season, so I think we got like seven weeks left. So I'm gonna try to pump out some more videos. This one will be another road trip vlog. We are in Wichita, Kansas. We just came from Tulsa, Oklahoma. So kind of moving all around. Um, this is about 10 to 12 hours away from Midland, so we're kind of out here. But we will be back in Midland for a two week homestand and then there's only a month of season left so we're kind of just uh, bouncing back and forth. So season is uh, it's kind of getting through the way. So we will uh, probably have maybe one more vlog and that'll be it. So I appreciate everybody for watching. Final two week roadie of the season is coming to an end. Um, we'll grab some content of getting on the bus, stuff like that. But mixing games and some other uh, stuff about the minor league season. So hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we have enjoyed Wichita. It's been a good series, been uh, had some weird losses. This time we're in Wichita, Kansas. We also added to the new Lulu family, another pair of joggers, another pair of strap-on bands. Keep it high fashion. I'm also getting to that point of the trip where I don't have much clean clothing left. Also got a cool new uh, training tool, I guess. So it's like the Hyper Ice, but it's a Venom line, and it is a low back like heater and massager. 10 out of 10 would recommend uh, for anyone for training, especially if your low back is tight. Um, the reason I got it was because of bus rides. You sit on a bus ride for 10 hours, your back's gonna hurt the next day. There's been a lot of scooter trips this, uh, this road series, especially because the field is close, but not that close. Um, so we'll take you guys over to the field, show you around the ballpark and uh, what it looks like in there. So it's about three o'clock. Gonna head over to the field now. These are some game day essentials, charger, AirPods, wallet, Red Bull. Has not been too hot this trip. Well, there's actually been pretty nice. So should be another good one today. Some of the hotels we stay at aren't the best. Uh, this one is actually very nice. So as you can see, fairly big hotel. Uh, it's hit or miss. Not sure if I can actually scooter and vlog, so probably just not gonna attempt. Very unsuccessful attempt at recording while scootering. Not good. Most of the cities we go to, uh, we don't really have the bus available too much, so we end up birding or VOing. These ones are a little bit more heavy duty than the birds, which big fan of. Art. I've taken more scooter rides this road trip than any trip before. Here's our hotel, a lake, and there's the field or river, not a lake.
uh, so it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm gonna catch the gym bus over uh, 10.45, get a lift in. I threw yesterday, uh, so lift in post throw day. Uh, when you're on the road, you lift in the other team's weight room, if you can, uh, early in the morning. If not, you kind of have to do a makeshift one at the field. So last night's game didn't finish up till midnight. Probably went to bed around 1.30, 2, maybe. So it is kind of a fast turnaround, uh, but that also happens. So usually games are done by like 10. Last night was a marathon. Very much in need of a laundry day. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a more in-depth look at what minor league life is like. Um, I've done minor league vlogs. I've talked uh, in videos about kind of pay and in season stuff like that. And I wanted to make a more detailed video talking about uh, signing bonuses, in season pay, uh, how housing works in season, per diem, bus trips, all that good stuff. So I want to give you guys an inside look into what it's like to be a minor leaguer and some of the more like detailed stuff that uh, not everybody knows about. So that's today's video. Really appreciate you guys for checking it out. All right, so before we get into today's video, make sure you guys subscribe wherever the button is. Um, I appreciate everybody who has subscribed, like, comment, interacting with all the videos. The channel is growing. I'm stoked about it. Um, especially the goal is to kind of make sure I continue to in season and once we get into off season this year we'll make it again uh, be creating more videos and get more content out for you guys so really do appreciate it and thank you very much all right so I always get asked as a minor leaguer what uh, minor league life is like and today we're gonna talk about all the kind of like questions and details um, that maybe people outside of baseball don't know about um, and there's a lot of them so we're gonna be going into what minor league seasons look like, off season, stuff like that. Road trips and scheduling. This is a big change for 2021. Uh, they went to a six game series. So you play a team for six games, you play them from Tuesday to Sunday, and Monday is a mandatory off day or a travel day. Um, and this new schedule and format is amazing. It's 10 times better than it was in 2019. Uh, having a guaranteed off day once a week is huge especially for athletes to kind of recover, especially with when you have 10 hour bus rides. So I like how the schedule is set up a lot and most players do it. Um, as far as bus rides, we are given two vans. Usually there's a sleeper and a regular bus. Uh, for the most part, our bus rides are usually about 10 hours down to four hours and anywhere in between. So got some long ones, uh, but they are given two buses. I remember in 19, we only had one bus. So you were constantly bunked up or like laying on the floor. Um, and guys are crawling around you and trying to get to the bathroom and stuff like that. So definitely two buses is significantly better than one. All right, so to begin with, we're gonna kind of start at when a minor league or when a baseball player's career starts, they get drafted and kind of what goes into the very beginning as far as your bonus, so signing bonus. So in the draft, there's now 20 rounds. It used to be 40 when I was drafted um, and there's slot value and all of that. So there was there's 40 guys drafted each year and not everybody signs, it's usually the majority. Uh, sometimes they'll have room and some guys won't sign. There is also free agent signings. So that's a little different, we'll talk about that. So when you sign, obviously first round gets the most money and it just can gradually goes down from there. So the, why the bonus is kind of interesting is because everybody's getting drafted by the same team the same year. Uh, some guys are getting $7 million and some guys are signing for 500. Uh, so there is a big discrepancy in just 20 rounds, 40 rounds, stuff like that. So for me personally, I was a senior sign, so I signed for 1,500. Uh, that's pretty much base, uh, the base of what all the senior signs uh, for the A's were signing at. It's different per team, uh, but that was what I signed for. So right off the bat, uh, you're not getting a lot of money as a senior sign, so your goal is to obviously grind through the minor leagues and hopefully make it to the big leagues and make that paycheck. If you are interested in more minor league content or what a day in the life is like, I also have a bunch of vlogs that I've created, got some road trip ones, got a promotion one. Uh, so definitely check those out if you're looking for more content. All right, so let's talk about the big one, which is minor league pay. Um, so this year it is actually raised. So 2021, they increased um, how much we were all being paid. Um, and I'll kind of read off what it was and what we are currently getting. Um, so this is just for like double A, it's, it's different at lower levels. So lower levels, a little bit less pay. Um, for instance, high and low A went from 290 a week to 400 a week. So for double A players, our pay went from 350 to 600, which is a big difference from the 350. 
to 600. So that is the pay that you receive in season. So in season, we're making about $600 a week um, coming out and then obviously taxes and everything like that. So it is a significant amount more than it was previously. Um, but again, we get paid that from once the affiliate season starts. So from March until September, that's what we get paid per week. Uh, during spring training is different. During spring training, you have per diem, you don't actually get a salary. Uh, so once season ends, your payment ends. So that's where the money we're making in season is solid money and it can definitely make you through season. It's just hard to make and save enough money in season that you also don't have to work in the off season. So the reason bonuses are very important is because as a minor leaguer, you don't make enough money to live off of for the full year. Uh, you have to have other jobs, side hustles, uh, give lessons, stuff like that. Um, because in season, you just don't make enough money year round. So that's why a bonus is a big deal because if you get a lot of money, then you don't really have to worry about working other jobs in the off season and stuff like that. So for me personally and other buddies and guys who are senior signs or didn't get a big bonus, a lot of guys do pitching lessons, work at Lulu, uh, I do YouTube, stuff like that. So there's a lot of different options and guys definitely get very creative with it. So another one is per diem. We do receive per diem uh, for in season, for meal money on road trips and stuff like that. Um, and per diem is separate from like your salary. So per diem is very helpful for food and just like kind of minor costs, um, especially when you're on the road. Cause again, you're kind of on your own for breakfast, um, even lunch some days, depending on what time you're getting. So it's another one a lot of people are confused about is we only get paid half the year. So we only get paid for in season. So we get paid once affiliated ball starts, you get paid from the start of the season to the end of the season. Um, you get paid per diem for spring training. But once off season ends, uh, you don't get another paycheck until next March or April whenever your season starts. So you are just making money in season, not in the off season, even though you're still under contract. All right, so one of the other things besides payment, housing, um, is food. So we are provided food at the field. Um, a typical day would be a pre-game meal and a post-game meal. So you're usually getting about two meals a day at the field, um, as well as snacks and stuff like that. Some places do it really well, uh, some places it's not as great. I know everyone's seen the videos or photos of like really bad meals, um, which does happen. Um, it happens less at higher levels. Um, and I think teams are getting better with fueling players properly and kind of understanding that like you have all of these expensive athletes and you want them to all be pros for you, you should probably feed them the right things. So I do think that food is going in the right direction. Um, on the road, you pretty much are kind of on your own for breakfast and then again, get to the field and you'll usually have a pregame and a postgame meal. So housing, this is another one that a lot of people are confused on. Um, so when we are in season and you travel on the road, your hotel is taken care of. Um, so wherever, we're on a two week road trip right now, we get to the hotel, we have our rooms for those two weeks. The issue is most guys, wherever your home base is, so for us it's Midland, guys are either in host families, um, Airbnbs, or renting a property. Difficulty with housing in season is it's hard to find six month lease rent options. Usually they're a year. If you do get a six month one, that's great. But if you get promoted, then suddenly you're still on that contract. So I think housing is one of the most difficult issues in the minor leagues because you always could get moved. You could go up, you could get down, you could get hurt. And you're when you're signing a contract to a six month lease, you're responsible for that payment. So if you can't get a roommate or a teammate to move in, then you're still paying that money while you might be in a different state at a different level. So that is kind of an issue with housing. Um, it has been discussed about teams providing housing and that's not the current situation. So again, we all make the best of it. Airbnb is a good option. Um, ideally host families, which are lifesavers for minor leaguers because usually it is either free or very cheap. And host families have been an awesome thing for minor leaguers and this year is a little different due to COVID um, restrictions and stuff like that. All right, so that kind of covers it for a bunch of random minor league uh, bits of information from housing to payments to per diem to road trips and food and stuff like that. So I wanted to give you guys more of an inside look on some of those details um, as you kind of are following along. And the difference kind of between the Myers and the big leagues is definitely, you know, there's a difference, but that's why you're playing um, is to hopefully one day reach that level. So there also are a lot of amazing companies who support minor leaguers. Uh, more than baseball is one of them. Um, adopt a minor league player like there's a lot of people who really do care about minor leagues and want to make it a better place uh, and
and I think that it's definitely trending in the right direction. I think minor leaguers are being treated better um, and kind of being helped along, um, hopefully on the road to the big leagues, um, a little bit more than it definitely was in the past. Um, I think that there's still definitely room for improvement and obviously players would probably like to be paid more and stuff like that. Um, but again, at the end of the day, very grateful to be playing baseball, getting an opportunity to play professionally. I know that there's a lot of people who want the opportunity, so I definitely don't take it for granted. Um, and I do appreciate all the companies and people out there who really do stand up and support minor leaguers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before you leave, make sure you're subscribed. Um, also like, comment, share the video with friends and help continue to grow the channel. I appreciate it and yeah, be sure to keep following for all things minor league life.